to raise awareness about the importance of pollinators, the threats they face, and their contribution to sustainable development, United Nations designated 20th May as World Bee Day. Our school also celebrated World Bee Day in school and spread awareness about the measures aimed at protecting the bees. Beekeeping is a widespread and global activity with millions of beekeepers depending on bees for their livelihoods and well-being. We are highly thankful to SM Honey for allowing us to take a visit in their apiary. As soon as I entered the apiary, a bee sting left swelling on my hand. Bees are under threat. Present species extinction rates are 100 to 1000 times higher than normal due to human impacts. Bees are found on every continent except for Antarctica and bees feed mainly on pollen and nectar. Honeybees live in colonies or hives. The members of hives or colonies are divided into three types. The queen. One queen runs the whole hive. Her job is to lay the eggs that will spawn the hive's next generation of bees. The queen also produces chemicals that guide the behavior of other bees inside the colony. The workers. The worker bees are all females and their role is to collect the food, that is, pollen and nectar from flowers. They also build and protect the hive, clean and circulate air by beating their wings inside the hive. The drones these are all male bees and their purpose is to mate with the new queen. Several hundred drones live in each colony during spring and summer. Honeybees can fly at a speed of 25 km per hour and they can also beat their wings 200 times per second. If the queen bee dies in a honeybee hive, the workers can create a new queen bee. They do this by selecting young larva and by feeding it with special food called the royal jelly. And see, we finally found the queen bee.